Hello YouTube, welcome to episode 7 of Storyteller Plays Pokemon Sweet. I literally just uh, ended episode 6, so I didn't have time to rename Fervor into something stupid. But we can do that when we get to the next town. For now, we're in the Galar Mine. And we're going to ignore any Fire-type Pokemon that would probably come in handy here. Ooh, a Star Piece can sell that for good money. Clothes are expensive. Can I just pick this up? Sorry, dude, no time. Sorry, dudette, no time. Why does everybody here want to fight me? Ooh, a hard stone. Oh well, might as well just start battling people. Um, okay, Skip, you're pretty cool. But I'm going to move you to the back of my party. Um... Yeah, these guys probably use rock-type moves, so whoever I just put in first is now probably going to be the best choice. Now I know what you're thinking. Satu, you just did that. Why would you not know who you put in first? Well, I'm stupid, so leave me alone. Adorable. Why would I put Fervor in first? I was just talking about why that's probably not a good idea. Oh, well, fighting should be strong against rock, right? Because, like, you punch rocks. A critical hit. Okay, I was about to say, it's like, shouldn't that hit more than once? It's called Double Kick. I was worried for a second that it wouldn't... Wait a minute, are those star pieces from Animal Crossing? Look at that one, like, right there in the center of the screen. You can still see it. It looks like an Aquarius fragment. But I'm rambling! When am I not rambling? Take that worker, Keith. Excuse me? What were you guarding? Okay, this music is kind of funky. How great would it be if they just had, like, Silent Hill-esque industrial noise music, though? Aha! Uh -huh. What's this? Rock Blast, not bad. Not useful, but not bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If they just throw a rock. I get it. I've seen Avatar The Last Airbender. The movie by M. Night Shyamalan. It takes, like, six people to throw a rock. One Pokémon can do that, so... Obviously, Pokémon are better than Earthbenders. In order to do good work, I can't slack off on training. Are you my mother? But also, how are you battling me if you should be working? Oh, it's a fighting type. Fun fact. It is born with that chunk of wood you see it holding under its arm. Oof, not very effective. Oh well, fervert. One or two more of those will do the trick. Oh hey, look, rock throw. Ouch. That's about as effective as if six firebenders did it, er, or earthbenders did it. Six firebenders. Wow, I'm tired. There we go, that'll do the trick. Used pound. Some of these animations are appropriate, some of them just don't fit. Quick attack. I was kind of hoping that the burner would fi finish it off, but I uh, overestimated the amount of damage that it can do. But that's why I'm not a Pokemon Master. No, Earl Grey, as useful as Protect is, I don't want to be one of them. Those people that just use Protect every other turn. Who are you sending out? I should probably be reading. Oh, just another Timber. Oh well, we know how to handle you. Okay, Fervert, don't die. I gave you a stupid name, but believe it or not, I do care about your well-being. Good Fervert. Okay, I believe that being burned reduces their physical defense, so this will hopefully finish it off. Well, I could be wrong about that physical defense thing. Oh, Fervert's not looking too healthy. Okay, Fervert, quick attack. I should invest in a uh, pro controller or something. The controller I have, like the arrow keys, stop working randomly. That or I'm just pushing the wrong ones. Hopefully it's me being stupid. Yeah, switch Pokemon. 
Uh... Okay, Skippo, this is your chance. Well, let's just skip. Your time to shine, Skip. I believe in you. Also, why does this lady just have three of the same Pokémon? I tend to favor one type over others, but I don't walk around with three of the same Pokémon. Yet. Would have been more effective if you just used Pound again. Looking good, team. Uh, you made for some good training. Way to keep a positive outlook. That's a funny way to say I lost to a ten-year-old, though. Okay, I'm giving up on the cart thing, but I just noticed that the sound design in this game is actually pretty decent. Like, listen to the whistle, it echoes. More than no thought was put into that. Okay, let's go. Mm. Working women are good at Pokemon battles, too! I don't think anybody said they weren't. Unless she's implying that, you know, she's got time to battle. On top of working. Okay, forever double kick. Okay, that's what we like to see here. Now, I should read what she's sending out next, so that I can send out a Pokémon accordingly. This is about to send in Drillbur. Will you switch your Pokémon? Oh, I'll just keep my current one. I've got to overlevel Fervert. Double kick again. Not too effective. I don't know, Fervert, I expected better from you. Oh well, another double kick will finish it off. Would be nice if you could land a crit, though. Maybe make this go by a little faster. Uh, Splutes wants to learn Roar. Eh, just keep, up. keep your moves. Your Pokémon. I want to scout them. What does that even mean? Like, you want them to work here in the mines? Because, uh, they're a bit busy. You can have them later. Wait, come back, guy on the carts. Nay, I can't keep up. And a revive! Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Oh no, I was seen. I was looking around for items, but I found a trainer. Hey, there's, uh, an item to your left. Worker Russell. Sent out, Roly Coley. I forgot that they were called that. That name is both genius and really stupid. Oh well, double kick. That's what we like to see here. It's Storyteller WMD here. Uh, Skip wants to learn Disable. Now we only do offensive moves here in my party. If only I'd use an item effectively when I was in a pinch. I one-hit KO'd you, sort of. You would have not had a chance. What's this? A pair of heavy-duty boots. Uh, effect tra- uh, Disable trap effects. Nice. I'm gonna go put that on one of my Pokemon. One moment. <gasps> Bidet! Mm. Coming this way, I'd advise against it. Any trainer with a wishing star is in for a beating from me and me Pokemon. I'm coming this way anyway, my dude. Just walk around him. How many bracelets are you wearing? They're watches. That's even worse. You. You're the gym leader endorsed by the champion, aren't you? What a joke! You are aware that the champion is more important- er, the chairman is more important than the champion, right? I was chosen by the chairman himself, so that makes me more amazing than you. I suppose I should prove beyond a doubt just how pathetic you, uh, you are and how strong I am. Yeah, fine, whatever. Bring it on, chump.
I'll teach you to use three psychic types against me. Go, Earl Grey. Solosis used Confusion. Owie. I hope you like your Earl Grey hot. I don't know any fire type moves. But I'm sure that Bidet is scalding right about now. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. I'm just giving your Pokemon a little chance to shine, that's all. I need to give this guy an evil voice. But like, stupid evil. What on earth is that thing? Actually, that's not one of the new Pokemon, but I keep forgetting that it exists. Look at it. Oh well, I'm something of a one-string pony. That's the expression. I'm just gonna keep using Shadow Ball, because, like, he doesn't have a defense against it. Look at him. Nope. Oh dear, what have I been doing? I didn't read that last bit. Probably because I'm spacing out. Remind me to look up what Anticipation even actually does. And like that I won. I see. Well, that's fine. I wasn't really trying all that hard anyway. Oh yeah, sure. That look of anger is because, uh, you let me win. Well, that was unexpected. I suppose you are more able than I thought. Naturally, I'll remember your battle style and strategies now. I'm sure to easily defeat you if and when we face each other in an official match. You're just going to send out psychic types again. Now that we've established that, I won't waste any more time on you. I've already gathered every wishing star in this area. Why are you looking for wishing stars in a mine? I'd imagine they fall from the sky. Anyway, like that, we succeeded. Wow, succeeded. I combined succeed and success. In other words, I failed at speaking. Pass through Route 3 and beyond in order. Hi, do you heal Pokemon? Hiya, me and my big sister have ourselves set up as pop-up Pokemon Center Service. Yeah, 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 heal my Pokemon. They have a bit of a tussle with Bidet. Real quick, because I don't think I've showed it off yet. Here, this is a berry tree. All berries grow on trees. They also grow on the same tree. So let's just give it a good shake. And you can tell by how regularly it shakes, whether or not it's safe to shake it more. So as you can see, it's now, like, shaking every second or so. Let's give it another shake. Still not shaking very frequently, so it should be safe to shake again. That's not very frequent, but I'm not going to judge or risk it, so I'll just take what's already on the floor. There you go! Unlike previous games, I'm not going to be able to farm up a billion leper berries, which is unfortunate. But that's just kind of how life is. No, the zap dog! Electrike. Is that like electric tyke? Regardless, I'm running away. You can't keep me here. What are you chasing me? Oh my goodness, it's one of them fat meowths. Well, it's a, it's like a beard. Ouch. Get out of here, Electrike. I have no interest in you. I've actually got no interest in any of these Pokemon, but that pumpkin-looking thing has caught my eye. A wild punkaboo. You're cute. So we'll throw a Pokeball at you, and if you stay in it, you're mine. If not, you know, whatever. Come on, stay in the ball. You can do it. You have no incentive to do so, but you can do it. And I caught a punkaboo. I'd consider that pretty good place to end the episode. A uh, punkaboo. When 
Taking spirits to the afterlife, large punkaboo prefer the spirits of adults to those of children. No. Just go to my box. Welcome to the party, punkaboo. You wouldn't fight me through a wall, would you? I should probably go through and collect all that stuff, but that's a, an off-camera sort of activity. Wooloo! Where do you think you are going? Bah. I'm under attack. Wooloo crashed into you and stopped. I saw something. Uh, what's his name said? Basil. My, are you okay? You took that tackle head on. Hmm. Oh, you must be one of those gym challengers, right? Nope. Oh, please. Are you trying to have me on? I saw you at the opening ceremony. Whoa, eagle eyes over here. My name's Milo. Where did I get Basil from? I'm a gym leader and rather partial to grass type Pokemon. I've been itching to see just how good the champion endorsed gym challenges are. Let me find out at the gym stadium. Just head on through this route and you'll run right into the stadium. See you there. Hopefully not right into the stadium like Wooloo ran right into me. Look at the size of his eyes. They're so small. Yet he saw me from a mile away. That's highly suspicious, my dude. And we'll explore that town in the next episode. So thanks for making it this far. If you did like the video, if you enjoyed, subscribe for more. I'm going to go run around and pick stuff up off camera because while we're here to see me battle, that's not what I want to do at the moment.